interesting uh, putting Byron Saxton out there. Byron Saxton is not the most entertaining commentator that we've heard over the years. And, you know, Josh Matthews, you know, he's received a lot of criticism. Who I would put out there uh, in the replace of Michael Cole would be someone like Jim Ross or Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews has received a lot of criticism for WWE commentary over the years. But the thing is, Josh Matthews is a far more entertaining commentator than he's ever given credit for. So to replace Michael Cole, it's a toss-up between Jim Ross and Josh Matthews, even a team of Jim Ross and Josh Matthews and probably Taz, a threesome team to replace the threesome team we have now on Monday Night Raw of Michael Cole, Booker T, and JBL. You have one in the way of JBL who's very overpowering, Booker T who can't talk, and Michael Cole who's just annoying. But if you have a team like Jim Ross, Josh Matthews, and Taz, you have Jim Ross who's a veteran commentator, you have Josh Matthews who has a tremendous years of experience under his belt, and you have Taz who is a more legit commentator than he's ever given credit for and actually understands uh, the business more than what he's given credit for. So there are options, you know, out there. If WWE were to go about, you know, getting a better commentary layout uh, than what they have, because their commentary layouts have been absolutely pathetic over the last number of years. And the thing about the commentary teams are the commentary teams change way too much. You know, for six months, we have one commentary team. Six months later, we have another commentary team. We can't get used to a commentary team in professional wrestling for whatever reason. WWE always feel the desire to have to kill the commentary buzz before something is created out of the commentary team. At least with TNA Wrestling and Ring of Honor, their commentary teams are consistent. I mean, Mike Tanay and Taz, you can criticize them all you want, but Mike Tanay and Taz and Josh Matthews and Taz have chemistry because they're kept on the commentary team. They're kept on the headset in TNA Wrestling. They don't change the commentary team. WWE changes the commentary team and the ring announcers like they change their socks, and it's absolutely annoying, you know, just as you're getting used to a commentary team of two or three people, they change the commentary team. You turn on TNA Wrestling and Ring of Honor, the commentary team is the same it was seven months ago, so there's consistency being shown in the commentary teams in TNA Wrestling and Ring of Honor, which I have a tremendous amount of credit for. You can get used to these teams over in TNA and Ring of Honor, you can't in WWE because WWE gets annoyed by their commentary teams because they feel someone's overpowering, they feel someone isn't doing their job right. Mike Adamley uh, is one of the biggest examples I can throw your way. Mike Adamley was one ECW commentator for, what, six months? He was the lead voice of Monday Night Raw for, what, a month and a half before he came back as general manager. That went nowhere as either the voice of Raw or the, or the general manager before that was killed. And we never heard from Mike Adamley again. I don't even know what happened out of Mike Adamley. But he had a history of walking off the broadcast uh, for no matter what he was doing. He walked off several sports uh, broadcasts before he ever walked off WWE after being shown a lot of disrespect. Uh, WWE may have used that as a wrestling angle, but it felt so real. You know, they were going back through the years. You know, Mike Adamley had a history of uh, being a sports announcer or walking off broadcast because he was annoyed feeling disrespected. Uh, but, I mean, how last, how long did Mike Adamley last uh, as the lead voice of Raw or the general manager? It went nowhere. So, you know, there are more reasons than enough to bring Jim Ross back, and I don't know why uh, WWE don't go through with that. I would kill to hear Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler as a two-man team calling Raw as they did uh, back in the Attitude Era. Sure, you don't have Austin and Rock to call matches over, but, you know, there are a lot of things that can be done uh, with commentary. There's a lot of room for improvement when it comes to commentary. We have to start realizing that. And we have to start correcting issues where correction is needed. And one of the biggest issues that needs to be corrected uh, in professional wrestling is the disastrous commentary teams uh, we have seen over the years. There have been countless commentary teams over the years uh, that have been far better than commentary teams we have seen over the last six months and over the last two years. I'd even go as far back as the 1980s commentary team of Vince McMahon and Jesse the Body Ventura. They were far more entertaining than what Jim Ross and Michael Cole or Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler have been. I hate the commentary teams. Jonathan Coachman and Al Snow is another one. Jonathan Coachman and Al Snow, Michael Cole and Taz, Michael Cole and JBL, Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler. They are absolutely awful as commentary teams. When you compare the commentary abilities up Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Eaton and Jesse Ventura and Vince McMahon. I mean, there have been incredible commentary teams over the years that definitely have done, surpassed uh, what Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler have done and people like uh, Jonathan Coachman and Al Snow have done over the years. I mean, there are far better commentary teams we have heard. Even Vince McMahon and Jim Ross, with how much they've hated each other over the years, uh, were a far better commentary team than the commentary teams we have now. And any commentary team would be better than the commentary teams we have now. I don't know what it is 
uh, with WWE being commentary, it just sucks and it gets worse all the time. Commentary's future uh, in professional wrestling is looking really disastrous. If you want someone out there on commentary to get ratings, put Renee Young with a diva or another announcer out there who actually makes sense on commentary. Renee Young should be given more of an opportunity to put the headset on uh, than what she's given. You know, she shouldn't be hosting these vintage shows of old footage or doing backstage interviews. She should be given the benefit of the doubt, and she should be putting on the he headset more than what she does. I know WWE have had issues with Jim Ross in the past with his face cancer and things, and they've used that as a wrestling angle over the years. That's absolutely atrocious, and that showed nothing but disrespect towards the legacy of Jim Ross. I know they've had issues over the years between Jim Ross and Vince McMahon that have been exemplified and examined for documentaries and wrestling angles, but I mean, put it in the past and let bygones be bygones and bring Jim Ross back. We have more options out there uh, for commentary teams than we're ever given credit for, and I think we need to start exercising these options, whether it be Renee Young, bringing back Gene Okerlund, bringing back a veteran commentator from years gone by, bringing back Jim Ross. There are endless amounts of options to make commentary sound better, because any commentary team will be better than the commentary team that we have now. I just hate Michael Cole's commentary. I could never get into it. Jim Ross was always the one who made wrestling sound entertaining, and it's been said to me many times over the years. You know, WWE doesn't sound the same with the voice of Jim Ross on commentary or being a part of the show week in and week out and being a part of the monthly pay-per-view. And that is true. True words have never been spoken about professional wrestling. If there's one major issue, it's not the Divas division, it's not the Intercontinental title division, it's not the U.S. title division, it's not who's the fucking champion. The major issue, one of the major issues, along with many others, is the commentary teams and the layout of the commentary teams. And that's why I issue this plea to WWE to bring back Jim Ross, or at least consider it. I know you don't listen to your fans, but you should consider bringing back Jim Ross as a full-time commentator to WWE because only good things and probable things will come out from this. More people will be happy. More people would have more of a reason not to listen to Raw with the mute button on, which a lot of people do. That's something that really gets to me, too. Uh, people watch Raw every week now with the mute button on because they don't want to put up with Michael Cole's commentary. That should say something about the commentary format in WWE. People can't stand that. Then you wonder why. Uh, your ratings are so low. It's because people can't stand the commentary for one thing, and they watch Raw with the mute button on. That's your live show people are watching with the mute button on. It's not a tape show in the way of Thursday or Friday Night SmackDown or Main Event. It's your live show, and you don't want people watching your live show, which has 20 minutes of wrestling with all the promos and everything taken out, with the mute button on because they can't stand the commentary team of Michael Cole and Booker T. I don't blame people for doing it, and I don't hold people accountable for watching Raw with the mute button on. Uh, but that's an issue. That should tell you something about how disastrous your commentary has. We've gone from the legendary teams of people like Jesse Ventura and Vince McMahon and Jim Ross and Jerry the King Lawler all the way to Michael Cole and Booker T. One man who can't talk, JBL who's overpowering, and Michael Cole who's just annoying on commentary even though he's had a lot of credibility associated with him over the years. I just could never get in to Michael Cole's commentary, and that's why I say if there ever was a time to bring back Jim Ross, that time is now. Give me your opinion on Jim Ross possibly coming back full-time. I'd love to know what your opinion is on our Facebook page at HGW Entertainment, on Twitter by following our show at Jonathan Clark 1, and on YouTube at Jonathan Clark 22 is how you can do that. I think only good things to close it out here would come from Jim Ross coming back full-time, and if there was ever a voice on the headset, I would prefer over anybody's voice in the way of a Michael Cole, a Mike Adamley, a Jerry the King Lawler. It would be Jim Ross, and you could throw Jerry Lawler up there for kicks. It would be fun, you know, hearing the comical reprieve from, Jim, from Jerry the King Lawler and Jim Ross uh, providing us with the wrestling analogy. You know, the thing is about, you know, comical reprieves, uh, I think Jerry Lawler was good at doing comical reprieves. I think that, you know, from the wrestling analogy that would have been offered uh, by someone like a Gorilla Monsoon or a Jim Ross, you know, the comical reprieve, uh, from Jerry Lawler was always a break. You shouldn't have Jerry Lawler in the position of having to pick up the slack where Byron Saxton can't provide us uh, with a good wrestling analogy. It seems like Jerry Lawler, when it comes to a team between Jerry Lawler and Byron Saxton, it seems like the wrestling analogy now has been left with Jerry the King Lawler because everybody knows Jerry Lawler has more experience than what a Byron Saxton does both as a wrestler and as a commentator. You know, I enjoy Jerry Lawler in the role of the comical reprieve and the comedian, rather than being the wrestling analyst, I think the wrestling analysis should be left up to someone like Jim Ross, someone who has a tremendous understanding of the wrestling business and has worked with these people. Someone like Byron Saxon has never had the opportunity to work with as many people as what Jim Ross has over the years. So I think the comical reprieve should always come from the people like Jerry Lawler, Booker T, and JBLs, people who don't you know how to know how to apply common sense 
with commentary and the wrestling analogy should be provided by someone like Jim Ross. That would be far better of a format for a commentary team than the format we have now with people like Jerry Lawler being the wrestling analysis and people providing us with a comic reprieve being someone like Byron Saxton. The commentary in professional wrestling is definitely fucked up and something needs to be done to change it. I think one of the best ways of doing that would be bringing Jim Ross back. That's just my opinion. It may not be the opinion of you. You may not even agree uh, with this opinion, but definitely it's a critical issue uh, that needs correction. It cannot go without being corrected, and until it's corrected, we're going to be stuck in the same proverbial boat in the same disastrous waters, which seemingly there's no way out of, and that's really unfortunate for all of us. People who miss Jim Ross, I really feel for you. People who are members of the Jim Ross fan club. It definitely has more fans than what the Michael Cole fan club has of just him and his mom being the only two members. You know, I can understand why people make fun of Michael Cole so much because credibility is just shot out the window with Michael Cole these days. You know, Michael Cole, if he's not providing us with, you know, annoying wrestling analogy, he's just being an idiot on television. I think that idea needs to be killed. The F5 to Michael Cole, nothing better could have happened out of Michael Cole, in my opinion, and it really needs to be killed before it gets worse and more people have a reason to not watch Raw anymore because more people need to have a reason to watch Monday Night Raw than what they do now. And Michael Cole is not one of those reasons why we watch Raw anymore. We watch Raw for the Stings and the Brock Lesnar's who are never there. We don't watch Raw because of Michael Cole. And if we ever do watch Raw because of Michael Cole, it's got to be a good reason. And I don't think that good reason is going to be seen anytime soon. Michael Cole has never given us a reason to watch Raw. And I think he's just one of the downsides out of why Raw sees that slight decline all the time in the ratings and definitely something needs to be done. It's an issue that cannot go without being corrected. I just hate Michael Cole and the way commentary is going uh, in professional wrestling and that's why I'm throwing this plea out to bring Jim Ross back. Give me your opinion on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and on Google+. I will share your opinion with our listening audience if your opinion is worth sharing. I'd love to hear it and uh, let us know what you think of this week's show talking about bringing Jim Ross back full time the commentary team in WWE, I think putting the headset back on for JR would be a good move for WWE and only probable things would come from it. I've got Carly Rae Jepsen's latest, I Really Like You, on the way next. Thank you so much for spending so much of your evening with me. I'm your host, Jonathan Clark, and I will see you next week.